Fake News Network presents What's in the box? 75 And we're going out and about today Right, we've arrived. Um, we've been stuck in traffic for about 10 to 15 minutes, really slow moving traffic, but uh, we are here at the uh, Gitted Metro Centre. And what we're going to be doing is the Change Checker 50p swap, so we might see a few of the Change Checker girls there. See you inside. It's like a ghost town, this. It's normally uh, dead busy, but it doesn't open until what, uh, 10, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. approaching the start and it looks like there's a little bit of a queue oh, it's gonna be busy Hello, <laughs> you alright? just uh, met Alex there he says oh, have you seen Malcolm yet? Uh, the queue's just coming down the queue Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's like, oh, I think that miss it. I still got hell I was seeing, so uh, I think you'll see it, she follows your videos. <laughs> so. uh, well, I think we're a friend on uh, Change Check, I think. Have you got your uh, Facebook thing? I've got them. I've got a few. Yeah. I've just That's met somebody plan. called uh, Two Cop. Oh, yeah. How do you? Fancy meeting you. Yeah, hi, yeah. hi, all right. Thank you, Annette. Put your 50 pays with you, and I suppose you've got your. Uh, Sign bunnies, I've got a few. Uh, I'll give them a few couple of bunnies, like guys. I've got a few prezies for them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to um, hang around after, are you? For um, well, we've got to get back to uh, what we thought as a dog, so. And I've got a few uh, coin pickups as well. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'll take a few for what I've got some. See you later. Hi Alex. Hi, how are you? Right. <laughs> Good. Good, so you here to do your 50p swap? Yeah. We're asking people to sign in just to keep track of numbers for the day. How many coins we've swapped? So if you have a mobile phone, please can you sign in using the QR code? Because when you get to the end, Rachel will ask you if right. you've done it. Right. Is that okay? okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'll have to stop these for the moment. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Uh, you probably yes. don't know, I've got my own uh, video channel. <laughs> oh, uh, fantastic. Mac yeah, Miller. we're going to have to. Gonna and I've got, got um, I actually thought... Ooh. The outlet centre? Sammy was going to be here to do it. Oh, Gemma's here You can change it to Gemma if you want. Oh, no, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, so it's just a yeah, few, few bits and bobs. Oh, this is very exciting. Yeah. A little present. Well, yeah, no, it's just off the, it's just off the channel. Thank you very much. Should we save them and open them later? Or you you can open them now if you okay. want. <laughs> I'll open mine and I'll, uh, I'll pass Gemma's on to her later. Thank you very much. Nothing exciting. exciting. <laughs> oh, I am excited though. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's a signed editions, okay. hey? That's super cool. Thank you very much. I have to add them to the collection. Yeah. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'll pass Gemma's on to her later. I'm sure she'll be really excited yep. with that. And then I'll talk you through the Platinum Jubilee 50p. I don't know if you've found one in your change yet. One of the um, trading I've got one from the post office, finally. Yeah, um, yeah. I had a, a friend that sent us a couple. 
<laughs> and uh, I actually won one in a raffle. Oh, wow. So uh, <laughs> Add in this to the I think I've got about five now, I think. Um, so, yeah, not too bad. Well, how about we make you one of just 1952 yeah. collectors? Like, yeah. Stamped version yeah, of today's that's, day. That's hey? what we were here for. It's yeah, probably the news I'll get to a, 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 a strike your own. So. Yeah, well, let's pick out some nice ones for you. Look pretty good. Yep. Yep. There you go. Right. And I'll take your old ones. Got a nice yeah. Paddington. Yeah. And two, Taylor two, Yeah. Oh. Two twenty eight inches. I thought you'd might uh, like those. Yeah. I really like the Taylor Gloucester. Right. Actually, it's one of my favourite right. Bridge ones. And congrats on winning the uh, the fifty p bag. Uh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let you guys take these ones. Excellent. The annual sets of five pound coins. If you want to have a browse. I've got. I've got some. Yeah. 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 I've got. Mm -hmm. Got all shot, but I, I needed one of these. Yeah. yeah. Man. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, out. It's really great that we're able to like celebrate right. it with the whole change checking community. You know. Right. Thank great. you very much. Thanks, guys. Take right. care. Bye, Bye now. Right, well, we're back home now. Uh, I do apologise. Maybe the video should have had uh, government health warning at the beginning or something along the lines of for those with a nervous disp disposition to look away now. Anywho, uh, the reason we went to the Metro Centre was to pick up one of these. Um, so it's the special Platinum Jubilee 50 pence with the John Bergdahl obverse. Now, these weren't available in the annual sets. You could only get them individually and as a straight run which was on the 6th of february 2022 at the royal mint so it's come in this little sort of platinum edged colored card but i've noticed it's similar to coin club where it's got the open aperture so the coin can easily be taken out i don't know whether i would have preferred it to be one of the sealed change checker cards but anyway the uh, card itself has got there Metro Centre Newcastle. Now the Metro Centre is actually Gateshead, not Newcastle. Um, and my card actually came pre-stamped. Didn't get the option to put your own little stamp on, so I didn't even do a stamp your own. <laughs> Never mind a straight your own. Did manage to pick up two. So I've got one each for my daughters. So they'll be going in their collection. Um, and it was also nice to meet to coin a phrase. And uh, what an honour it is to meet people off YouTube. So I'm pretty sure that uh, Alex, Rachel and Gemma must have been in awe of meeting to coin of phrase on myself. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that was the two little coins that we picked up today. Now, as well as that, um, if you'd followed me on Instagram, Facebook, etc., You'll know that I've got a couple of coins for my birthday off my wife. Um, the first one was the abolition of the slave trade. Um, I've put on their sets only, but it's actually, uh, you can get them in individual packs as well. Um, it's the special one with the DG initials, the smooth finish. I've already put this in a flip, put the annotations on and uh, into the collection it goes. And in addition, I was given this 2015 World War One Navy Centenary, fourth port rate. So that's the Ian rank broadly. And uh, this design did not go into circulation. So if you do find one of those, you've got a really rare coin. Um, again, I've put on their sets only, but you could get them as standalone uh, packs. And there was actually 100 of this figure that were issued in the HMS Belfast Souvenir Shop Tills. And uh, again, this one is a brilliant and circulated, but you can get them in, in proof as well. So, nice two coins. Uh, I know a few people on uh, social media did see a that uh, oh, you're only worth four quid. No, I'm actually worth a lot more than that. Maybe five pound at a push. <laughs> um, now, I also sent away um, for a couple of coins myself. Now, this one here, I've just hidden the uh, address. 
At first I thought it was Dustin Hoffman, this stamp, but it actually is Mitch Murray. Now he was a, well he is a singer-songwriter uh, because he's still, uh, I think, 82 year old now. But he wrote uh, songs for, amongst others, The Beatles, Manfred Mann, Freddie and the Dreamers, Cliff Richard. Quite a talented lad, and he, he was given the uh, the MBA. So I think it's, it's actually mentions his name just down the side there. It's got MBA in his name in 1965. So I don't know if anybody's into stamps. Um, right, so I'm going to try and open this very, very, very carefully because I haven't uh, been into it yet, as you can see. I've taken off the, the sender's address on the back. I better check to make sure that there is no evidence. Nope, uh, I'll go with these. <laughs> and at the inside, I've got these your EB item. Thank you for buying. Oh, that'll be uh, the gentleman in question. Paul. Right, so where is the coin? It's in here somewhere. There we go. So this is the uh, the House of Keys from Isle of Man. And I've been having a bit of a splurge buying some Isle of Man 50 pences of late. So this is from 2017. Not sure if there's any uh, mintage figures for this one. Just having a look to see if I can see any die marks. I don't think there is, but if I do find one, I will put it in the annotations below. And the second purchase, which is again, it's got some pretty neat stamps on, so I'm going to use the other envelope to cover it. So I've got the uh, sort of the three kings following the star, and uh, Queen Elizabeth with the royal broadcast, and I'm presume, presuming that's uh, Princess Margaret. So again, haven't been into this yet, so we'll open it up and see what we have inside. I did miss out on um, an Isle of Man Christmas coin. Um, it did actually go for a ridiculous amount in the end. So looks like a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> A bit, bit of evidence in that one. Now, this one is supposed to have come from um, a sealed bag. So, on eBay, the gentleman in question did actually have a £250 bag, which, when he opened it, he had loads of these inside. If I can get into it. So, this w won't actually be circulated. Um, but obviously it's been probably bashed around in the bag that it was in. So another one with the, uh, the Viking longship. And this one was from 1971. And again, I don't think there's any, any die marks on it. Um, if I have any mintage figures again, I will put it down in the bottom. And finally, again for my birthday, uh, this is 10 Bob's fault. <laughs> um, she's been doing some sixpence runs and she, she bought one of these albums and I thought they were uh, absolutely cool. So I went and bought one myself. Um, but as you can see, I've got some quite way to go. I've only got the ones sort of um, after 1946. So that was when they were like half silver. So these will all be cute and nickel. I'm still missing the 1952, but there was just over a million 
minted of those. But I thought these albums were absolutely excellent. Uh, so I took all the sixpences I had out of my Whitman folders. Um, but <clears throat> it didn't stop there because <laughs> I went and got the Shillings one as well. And again, it just starts from 1947. I do have all of these, so the both English and the Scottish ones. And <laughs> got a florin one. <laughs> again, I've got quite a way to go. Um, and again, from 1947 onwards. All the way up to 1967. One more? Yeah, one more. We've got a half crown one as well. So uh, luckily I do have two, which uh, were half silver from 1929 and 1933. Um, all the others are missing. But I've noticed it does actually start at 1919, which seems a, a bit of an odd year because... Uh, when George V took the throne in 1911, I think it was. So we do have, again, some early years, or before the uh, half silver uh, finished. To keep a little, we've got 1947 onwards, up to and include 1967. Now, there is other um, albums in the collection. Um, I think it tells you on the back as uh, farthings, half pences, pennies, uh, threepences. I don't know whether it's just silver threepences or silver and the brass ones as well. I'm going to have to look into that because what I'm, I've gone and done is I've sort of obviously emptied all my, my Whitman folders. Now, one of the reasons was is that uh, I mean, I bought these sort of used from eBay and um, I mean they're not exactly tatty as such uh, but I just felt that sometimes they were all falling out and uh, I needed a better album uh, so what am I going to do with these well there is a possibility that I could fill it up with some of the spares and use it as like uh, Whitman folder starter packs maybe and put it on eBay uh, just a thought just a thought but uh, there's quite a few there and that is it for today folks so i hope you've enjoyed it um i had a really great morning out at the, uh, the metro center great to make coin to coin a phrase great lad and if you haven't already done so go and check his channel out um, i will put a link to his channel in the description box below so until the next time um just keep on hunting Enjoy yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.